Hey everyone, in this video I'm going to be showing you how I made the sideboard for my homemade headboard for my homemade bed. So I started off by looking through the lumber rack which you can see in the back right corner of the screen and finding this, I believe it was a 12 foot by 12 inch piece of lumber. And as you can see I just cut it down to size and then I sanded it and now I'm going to apply some stain while watching Game of Thrones. Since this board had been sitting there for so long it just soaked the first coat up so I just threw a second coat on right there. Next I threw on a coat of poly followed by another coat of poly a couple hours later. And here you can see me cutting down the 2x4 which I'm going to be making into the footer. The table saw was not happy about this. Now I'm just cutting the footer down to size. And for the footer I just used a couple pocket holes because it did not need to be all that strong. I am also attaching the sideboard to the bed frame with pocket holes. And as you can see I just started all the screws before turning the board up to make it easier for me to access. So for the top of the sideboard I decided to use this molding and looking back at it now it was not the best choice but it was also cost effective as I had it just laying around and this piece doesn't really need to be all that strong. I used a clamp to hold the saw guard up on this tiny little circular saw and then just finish the job with a jigsaw. So here's a power strip that I am also recycling. I used this little clamping system which I kind of thought of after watching a lot of Matthias Wendell's videos. The first piece of molding was about a foot too short to cover the whole span of the bed so I added a whole ton of glue and a whole ton of screws to connect the two pieces of molding with this sturdy piece of wood. I might have went a little bit overboard with the screws. So I am adding caulking to the electrical strip and as you'll see in a minute this caulking was very old and it left a horrible residue on the top of the sideboard. This residue was very oily so the latex paint was having a lot of difficulty sticking to it so to fix that I had to sand the whole thing down and re-caulk it with some white caulking. Stud number one and stud number two. So plug in the electrical strip, again pocket holes, and even with all my maths I still managed to miss the first stud. Here you can see that the pocket hole plugs stick up a little bit so I'm going to be using my anniversary present from Nicole to get rid of that problem. So then I just sanded it down, started off with the multi-tool again and then use a sanding block and then I put some spackle, sanded that down, and painted, and then re-polyed it. So here's the finished product. All I need to do now is create a footboard, but I'm not sure what I want to do yet. So thanks for watching, I hope you enjoyed, and I hope that you took something away from this video.